everyone welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a quick walk around and it's on this 2023 chevrolet trailblazer this is the rs package and it has all-wheel drive now here's the thing the chevy Trax has been getting a ton of attention because it is the new fresh uh modern face there from chevrolet but the corporate cousin, or I guess the brother in the Chevrolet lineup, is the Trailblazer. And there are features that you get in this Trailblazer that you can't get in the tracks, one being all-wheel drive. But let's do a quick walk around on this one. It is a little rainy out today, so I'm going to do a very quick one. But let's do a quick walk around, and let's look at the features that you get here on this Trailblazer. Let's start off here with the front-end design of this Trailblazer. Absolutely awesome aggressive design it looks like a baby blazer really so you have led daytime running lights up here you have your turn signal right there and then you have these nice led headlights down here with some bl gloss black finish and you do have some fog lights right down there which is nice to have rs batch here in the middle it's come to the middle of this very aggressive front end here so you have this kind of darked out chrome finish you have blacked out grill finish and then you have the rs badge black bow tie and then you have this nice lines that go across the hood leading all the way up to the top of the vehicle which does give you this nice um you can get this two-tone option with this red top here on this one that that it has on this one now coming over to the side this is more of the off-road credible um vehicle here than the than the tracks you're going to see that you have a lot more headroom up in here than in the tracks the tracks kind of goes at more of a slope this way where the the trailblazer goes up a little bit but coming over here you do have black plastic cladding on the wheels you do have a nice black finish here on these wheels uh with a little silver on the outside they look absolutely awesome here in this rs trim now coming over to the mirror caps you do have gloss black finish here on the mirror caps gloss black finish here on the a pillar and look at these design uh, lines that go all the way to the back absolutely look awesome and then again that red finish here on the top with a little roof rail here on the top as well coming around the side you do have your gas cap here on the driver's side and then let's go around to the back here and i'm going to get the key out real quick because i'm going to show you uh, that this actually does have led tail lights you'll see them light up there so led tail lights with the uh, incandescent uh, reverse and turn signals there and then coming around to the side you or the back there you do have trailblazer all-wheel drive spot out there in the black lettering black blow tie um and then you have the uh the wiper here for the back one zonk here on this uh, trailblazer and again i have this on the tracks as well but you have that little alfalfa sticking up uh, antenna up on the top there uh versus a shark fin antenna but that's uh hey you can uh do aftermarket options after you buy the car on those uh but coming on the side here you do have um, your reflectors and then you do have dual outlets here out the back it is not technically a dual exhaust setup um, it's actually one tailpipe coming from um, the front there and uh, and then kind of just going out to uh, ports there on the back but overall it still looks very nice and very aggressive rs bads there and this vehicle gets a power lift gate and i'm just going to open that up by pressing the button here um, and this does get a power lift gate, which you cannot get on that track. So um, thank you, Chevy, for giving this here on the Trailblazer. Let's zoom out just a hair there so we can look at the uh, cargo area here. So tons of cargo here uh, area here in this subcompact crossover. Um, here in Maryland, you'll see that we have a front license plate bracket, but uh, we don't have it on just yet. But you got weather mats or, or carpeted mats right there. You do have uh anchor tethers here on the back of all the seats a little light there and then you have these little storage nooks here on the side um right over there as well and then underneath this cargo floor you actually do have a uh, spare tire down there with all your tire kit there as well which is nice and let's put this back down push it in a little bit and clip it uh down there so overall very nice uh, cargo area here in this trailblazer let's go up to the uh underneath the engine hood all right, so let's look underneath the hood here. So this has the optional 1.3, that's right, 1.3 liter uh, engine here that is turbocharged and does give you a nine speed automatic transmission when you go with this 1.3 liter. Now, there is a smaller 1.2 liter, that's right, smaller than 1.3. You have a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine option uh, on the lower trims here uh, in the Trailblazer, but that gives you a continuously variable transmission. Now, if I were to buy a Trailblazer, I would buy this 1.3 liter, mainly because I do like the nine-speed automatic transmission. Um, so 
On this one, again, 1.3 liter, uh, you do have everything accessible that you need underneath the hood here. Um, one zonk here on underneath the hood is you do have um, just a regular strut here for the, or regular kind of just lift there for the hood. Um, and that hood is actually fairly heavy actually compared to, uh, you know, even trucks and stuff like that. But, you know, lifting up one hand, um, you know, I wish they did give us hydraulics, but hey, it's just a minor zonk there. Let's go to the uh, second row here. All right, second row time. Let's look at the window sticker real quick before we get back there. So you're going to see 2023 Trailblazer all-wheel drive RS there, 1.3 liter turbo, and then the nine-speed automatic transmission. Final MSRP is $33,105, and fuel economy on this all-wheel drive subcompact SU, uh, crossover there, very nice, 30 miles per gallon highway, 28 combined, 26 city. That's pretty good. This vehicle is assembled in Korea. Now, coming to the backside here, you do have this uh, fairly big opening here, just in case you need to get like some kids' car seats are in there. Um, so that's fairly nice. But coming on the back here, you do have hard plastics all the way around. You do uh, have fairly hard plastic here on this door trim. You do have a power window, silver chrome door handle there, little pocket down here from storage, and you have a little kind of storage area right here as well, grab handle as well. Now, coming around to the inside of the vehicle, you do have this leatherette finish on the outside, and then this kind of really cool design cloth finish on the inside. These seats can fold down flat to give you some more cargo space in the back, but again, fairly nice design here. You do have a fold down armrest here which is nice two cup holders there pop that up fairly comfortable that's actually um on the vehicle that's probably one of the softest spots on the vehicle so if you're in the rear pull that armrest down and then coming around the side here or around the uh, side of their or the back of the uh, center console you do have um, a 115 volt outlet down here and then you do have two usb ports down there so that's pretty cool and nice to have here in this trailblazer pockets here and the back of the front driver and passenger seat let's go up to the driver's seat now all right driver's seat time let's look at the key real quick i showed it to you once but just show you one more time chevrolet key here standard chevrolet key um, you have your unlock lock remote start just press and hold it um, power lift gate option there and then your hazards there as well Fairly nice design key, fits in the pocket very well. Plus it gives you access to do the intelligent access. So you can lock the door, so you'll see the doors are locked. And then if I press that button, it will then unlock the door without me having to get the key out of my pockets. Now, a little nicer uh, kind of designs and uh, features up here um, and materials up here in the first row, but you got this gloss black finish here. Um, again, hard plastics around the top and down the side there. Um, unlock button, chrome door handle, power windows, power mirror options there. Um, but the armrest is still pretty hard, but just a hair bit softer than in that second row. Um, then down here you have some cup holders and you do have the option to set your uh, power lift gate. You can set it at the max height um, at the top there. You can set it at three fourths of the way or you can turn it off altogether for the power lift gate. You do have a very nice speaker system in here, a Bose speaker system inside this vehicle. Coming around to the side of the steering wheel, you do have your automatic headlights interior dimming light switch there and then you have your fog light switch right down there as well fuse boxes down there if you ever need to get in there and then coming over you do have these very nice power seats that do give you two-way lumbar support and these seats again are finished in that leatherette finish um, you do have a little rs badge back here um, and then cloth inserts here in the middle of the seats i wish they would have done the headrest like they did in the track with the rs badging but that's just a minor little gripe there coming over to the steering wheel it looks very similar to that chevy tracks but let me show you a better angle of that when i jump inside right now real quick before i jump inside i did want to show you the panoramic sunroof that does go all the way back to the second row let's jump in and look at the touch screen now all right let's get a quick view outside the vehicle coming around the side there it's very airy very open you do have a little bit of blind spot back there in that c pillar but you do have blind spot monitoring in this vehicle now with the key in my pocket push button start is located right there turn the radio down you'll see a chevy badge, chevy badge uh showing up right there but let's look at the top here so you saw the panoramic sunroof you do have those sunshade options here and kind of opening and venting it right there you also do have your lights for your interior here. You can turn the lights on, the dome lights there. You can turn the lights to be set to basically when you open the door, or you can turn them off altogether. 
OnStar suite right there, very nice from General Motors. And then you do have this very nice um, auto dimming rear view mirror here um, that gives you a good bit of visibility as well. Coming on down a little bit further, you do have nicely placed air vents there that give you plenty of airflow right to your face. Um, very nice. And then stretch it all the way across this to the side here. You do have this little storage nook here where you can put things. Very nice. Black accents around the air vents there, which is cool. And then coming to the touchscreen area here, you do have your hazard lights right there. And then on this one, you can... Um, you, you do have, not you can, but you do have a touchscreen here that gives you the ability to do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let me turn that volume down. It was kind of giving me a fuzzy noise there again. Um, but down there, a little bit lower, you saw the volume knob. You can turn the volume all the way off there. Um, you can go through seat track, back button there, and home button as well, which gives you the ability to kind of go into Apple CarPlay, um, that kind of stuff, and then go right back. Um, you do have uh, the built-in OnStar navigation here, so you can use that if you like. Now, coming down a little bit further, you do have a single zone climate control here that is automatic single zone climate control, so you can kind of set it and forget it, um, just like your AC at your house. Uh, and you do have three zone heated seats here for both front driver and passenger. Coming down a little bit further than that, you do have aux cord down there, two USB ports, an SD card here. Uh, if you want to upgrade and get the built-in navigation, uh, you can get that. 12 volt outlet there. And then you do have a nice wireless charging pad right here, uh, which is cool. Coming down a little bit further than that, it's kind of hidden behind the shifter, but you do have your auto stop start buttons there. You do have your lane departure, traction control off, uh, all wheel drive button there. And then this button is kind of like the sport setting there on the vehicle. So if you want a little more power, you can press that button. Now coming over to the shifter, you do have the shifter that has a red RS logo right there. This is a traditional shifter here that goes all the way back, part reverse neutral and drive. And then there's a low setting, but you also can shift uh, up and down by the little shifter here, which is nice. Um, coming over to the cup holders, you do have fairly big cup holders here with a little slot in the middle where you could put like your phone or items there power uh, parking brake and then coming over a little bit further than that you do have this little storage nook down here that you can put some items and then you do have this armrest right here that kind of gives you a dual layer as well coming over to the steering wheel again same uh, steering wheel that he is in the chevy tracks very good design black chevy bow tie in the middle and then you have your adaptive cruise control options there heated steering wheel yeah buddy and then you do have your um, controls here for the center display there in the middle that you can kind of go through voice recognition and answer hang up button right there as well. On the back of the stalks, you do have your um, automatic headlights there. You do have your ability to turn the headlights on blinker. And then you also have your um, windshield wiper um, features right over there. Now, something cool on the back of the steering wheel, I don't know if I can show you, but you'll see them right back here. Um, on both sides of these, you have these uh, little toggles and uh, they give you the ability to switch up and down through your tracks of your, your music and a uh, volume control as well. Now coming to the center display here, you do have this very nice setup here, a tachometer with RS badge there, fuel uh, gauge there, and then your coolant gauge over on the uh, right side with the speedometer, very nice. And then in the center display, you have tons of uh, options you can kind of go through uh, by just going uh, using this button right next to the uh, steering wheel. So, you know, it goes through a ton of different things, um, safety features, you name it. You can even have the digital speedometer um, on the vehicle there. So overall, very nice vehicle here in the Trailblazer. All right, so that's been a quick walk around here on this Chevrolet Trailblazer um, and the features that it gives you. Now, the question is, because Chevy has the Trailblazer in the lineup that's getting a, a little refresh there for 2024. This is a 23, uh, but it's getting a little refresh that's going to kind of make it look even more like the new Chevrolet Trax. So the question I have for you is the Trailblazer in the Trax in the Chevy lineup, which one are you buying? The Trailblazer does give you some features that you can't get on the tracks. The Trailblazer currently gives you all-wheel drive and a power liftgate that you can't get on the tracks. But the tracks will give you that fully digital cluster and the 11-inch touchscreen currently that you can't get on the Trailblazer um, at this very second. So let me know down in the comment section below, which one are you buying? You buying the Trailblazer or you buying the Chevy tracks? I'd like to hear about it. And let me know in this segment, 
that has the Kia Seltos, the Hyundai Kona, um, even you know vehicles like um, like the Kia Soul, you know some of those, um, the Hyundai Venue, the Nissan Kicks, uh, the Volkswagen Taos, um, the Toyota Corolla Cross, the Honda uh, Honda HRV. Let me know, are you buying this vehicle, the Chevrolet Trax or the Chevrolet Trailblazer? Are you buying that vehicle in that segment of other vehicles? Let me know down in the comment section below. Love to hear it. And if uh, if you haven't done it so already, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell notification to stay up to date on all the videos I'm posting. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.